we are in Karbala. We are headed off to the shrine now in our abayas. And I'm super excited to see it. And yeah, let's go. Tonight we headed off to Karbala, one of the holiest cities in Iraq. It has two beautiful shrines that we are going to visit. To go to Karbala, you have to wear a full abaya. So women have to have their hair fully covered, their arms, their legs, their hands if they have nail polish, and it is part of the religious culture. It was absolutely incredible seeing the tens of thousands of people that make this pilgrimage to come and see the shrines and how devout they are to this beautiful religion. As we walked through, you saw families sharing meals, sharing drinks, and all hanging out before heading into the shrine. Now we're getting ready to head into the shrine and see everything. It is a bit chaotic and hectic. I had to get some gloves to cover my nails, but yeah. As we walked into the shrines, I was absolutely amazed by the beauty. Just the details, the artwork, the glass, the chandeliers. It was truly incredible and breathtaking to see. And as we walked in, we definitely stuck out like a sore thumb, but people were so kind. Honestly, I've never met kinder people than I have in Iraq. So many women were coming up to us, asking for pictures, asking where we're coming from, asking why we're in Iraq, and so happy to share their country and their religion with us. We were unable to film inside of the shrines as it's a very religious and holy place, but you could truly see while you're in there the emotion that was brought up in the women as the men and women are separated as they go and pray and give thanks while they're visiting the shrines. It was truly, truly incredible. All right, so day two recap. We headed to Karbala, which is one of the most holy cities in like the world. And we got our abaya, so full dress. And we went there and went to the shrines and it was absolutely amazing. I think Muslims do a cool and beautiful religion for how devout they are to everything. And you could see the care and joy and passion in all of it. And we were fully covered and the welcomings we got and everything, it was just incredible. And I'm gonna go more into it maybe tomorrow. I'm so tired, so I'm getting ready for bed. Day two, finished. Good morning from the marshes of Iraq. I was so excited for this day. We woke up at about 2 a.m. to catch the bus to make it down to the marshes. Today, we're taking these boats into the marshes to go see the people of the marshes and go understand their story. We made it just in time for sunrise and this view was just absolutely incredible. Just going through this flat glass water, thinking about how my experience in Iraq has been so fruitful already and getting really excited to go learn some more culture and something completely different that I didn't even know existed in Iraq. So many of us believe that Iraq is just full of deserts and is dry, but there's an entire area of Iraq that is surrounded by these waters and these marshes. The marsh people build and live their lives in the marshes and sustain a livelihood through their farming, through their animals, and it was just a really incredible experience to go. And these boat rides are something that I will never forget. As we drove closer, we could start to see the surrounding neighborhoods of the different marsh people. You could see how they built their land on dry marsh areas, all man-made, using the reeds and using different elements from the marshes to be able to build land and build houses. It definitely opened my eyes to a completely different way of living a different lifestyle these people have a much more simple life but they live off the land and they're truly happy as we drove through even some families ran out and waved to us as we were going by and we just got to understand just a completely different livelihood as we got closer we also got to see water buffalo which was crazy a lot of the families own these tribes of water buffalo and you could see them throughout the water but i mean look at this boat ride it was just truly magical we are in the marshlands we are in one of their little houses now and we have to see all their animals and it literally was such a cool ride in here but yeah how amazing is this 
I'm super excited to learn more about the people, learn more about their life. It was super, super specific to here and definitely unusual and unique. So yeah, we're gonna meet some of the Marsh people and just learn more about their life. Uh, in the 90s, the early 90s, uh, Saddam Hussein decided to divert the rivers to cut off the river from here. And so the, all the marshes, they started dry, drying out. Mm. So he only stayed here for two years, he could hold on, and then after two years, the whole area was a wasteland. There were no buffaloes, no fish, no birds, nothing could live here back then in 1993. So he left to Al Mahmoudiyah, which is an area located near Baghdad, and worked there as a farmer. After the marshes, for the end of the day, we ended off at the ziggurat, which was truly incredible. It brought me back to such ancient times. It was really incredible to be able to see and get so close to an ancient monument. And we started to make our way through as our guide was explaining to us the history of the ziggurat and what it meant to the people of the area. As we continued our tour though, the wind started picking up more and more and the sky started to turn this gray color. So as we we're looking through all these crazy archeological sites, we definitely could feel this sandstorm was coming. And I wish I could put the audio on here, but truly you weren't able to hear anything with the crazy wind. We did have to stop at one point and we were starting to get pelted with sand. So we had to run back fairly quick. We got to walk through Abraham's house. And even at the end, we had to go on top and have an overview look what the house was like, the different rooms, and just a gorgeous view over the area. And then to end our day, we had a nice, delicious, typical Iraqi food. And the food here is so incredible. I am loving all the fresh bread and rice and meats. It is delicious. Mm -hmm. 